Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial on using Edmodo. Today my goal for you is to see how that you can use the folder function in this program. What I'm going to do first is we're going to click on our library right at the top of the page and then you're going to start to see how everything that you have been posting has been appearing here. So I have my library, this is everything I've ever posted to all my classes since I started Edmodo. You can add things that are attached to posts such as maybe you want to have just everything that you've shown you can check out that box you can break it down by the groups of what they sent or um, you can just kind of scroll through over time and see everything that you've done it may take a little while you can also change the view type um, maybe you could find if you look for files or links but it's all broken down and finally, a recently added function is adding Google Docs. I would heavily recommend you make up a Google Docs account. This way you can connect it to your Edmodo account. Every file, every project that you post on Google Docs will appear on here. So let's say that I have some files that I just discovered or a website and I need to add it to my library really quick. I'm just going to click on the button really up top within my library. It says add a library. If you want to add a file, make sure that the file tab is ready to go. And you can hit upload or hit add to library. And it's just going to start sorting through your files and you just find it wherever you need to add it into your class. And hit open and let it run. So it's there now if I have a website. I'm also going to go to add a library. This time I'm just going to click on link. And now I'm going to go to my Pinterest board. It has a lot of my great resources. And I'm just going to copy the URL code at the very top. And I'm going to press Control and C. Then I'm going to go back to my Edmodo. And I'm going to Control and V. And then I'll paste that in there. And all I got to do is click on the second line. And it's automatically going to give it the title of the page that I had. I'm going to add that to the library. Now that I have a decent amount of files in my library, I need to start to realize how to organize them. What's going to be the best way so that my students can get all the info that they need in big chunks. So what you want to do is click on the word new to the right of folders. Give your new folder a name and check off the groups that you would like to share this folder with. You can do it all of them, uh, just one, it's up to you. And then hit create. This folder is now going to be down below underneath my folders. Each folder has different amount of files stored in them. You can check off the box up top where it says public if you want to make everyone access it. That way you can copy this URL code right here. Say put that in an email or put it on your blog or maybe you could tweet about it and other people can check out the resources that you have. But right now you can see that I have nothing in that new folder that I just created. So you can see right here this is going to be my folder window. This is when it has all the details that I need. I have my URL link right here. I can go back in, I can edit the name or just delete it. But you can see I have no files within this folder. Off to right you can see this is how you're sharing your folder. You could just uncheck any of these boxes if you made a mistake or if you want everyone to see it. This is how you can modify them. So now what we got to do is add some stuff. So I'm going to go to my library. I had these files that I liked before that I just made up. So I can click the two of them. So now if you see the difference, what one thumbnail does, I can launch it right to the site. I can delete it on the account or I can add it to a folder. To make it a little bit easier for you, you can also hold down the control key and click and you can add additional. So I got a decent amount here. I have a, a Word document, a website, PowerPoints from my Google Docs. So I got a decent amount. Now if I don't like one of these, maybe I messed up, I'm just going to delete this PowerPoint. So I'm just going to hit that little red X and now it's gone. So I got eight items. So I'm going to click on folder and now I have the folders that I want to do it. I just made up an Emoto Tools one so I'm going to put them in there you can put them in a couple of folders if you like and you hit apply. So now you can see the folders updated. I'm going to go back down and click on my Emoto tools and there they are. So 
So here's my folder view of Moto Tools folder that we've been working on. If you had any solves before, you can make it public so we can have everyone check it out. Uh, this is where all my files are now organized. And just like the hint says in the upper right hand corner, you can click on a file and you can reorganize them or which way you want. If you have something you don't like, close it out or you can hit remove from folder. The last thing that we could probably do is check out Play View which is what your students are going to see when they click on the link to check out the site. If it goes to a Google Docs file such as my presentation here, it's going to open up in the Google Docs window. If you click on an image, you can click on the link to the image and it will take you to the Asper website. So congratulations, you've just made up a folder and you've shared it and now your students can be a little bit more organized in their project. Keep checking out my channel for more stuff and other Edmodo tutorials along with other of tutorials that I posted up. You'll have a great day.